Welcome back to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke and today we're going to be talking about the best practices for formatting any Excel file. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe and let's jump into the content. So let's talk about the basics of formatting. The number one thing to remember when thinking about formatting is that it's a checkbox, not a scale. You need to achieve a certain threshold, but you're not going to get extra points for going above and beyond. And so when I think about a manager reviewing a file, they either say, yes, this is acceptable and this format works for me, or they say, no, this is not acceptable and needs to be fixed. But there's no additional points you get for having the world's greatest formatting. Every manager is really ultimately going to be different and they'll have particular styles and formatting preferences. Every manager falls somewhere on this scale of incredibly relaxed and not particular at all to hyper attentive and in the details of every little comma, semicolon, whatever you're using for your file. While these managers shift, the most important thing will be understanding where your manager falls on the scale so you can adjust to their specific style and spend time where it's actually going to benefit the overall answer. My number one advice here is find your manager's template or style and stick to it. You're not going to gain extra points by trying to reinvent their formatting preference. So find that one style that is always that check mark yes and stick to it and use it. Lastly, what you should really be doing instead of over indexing on formatting is focusing on really three key questions. So number one, what are the insights from my analysis and how do those insights impact the answer? This is number one, make sure you understand what your analysis is saying and how that analysis impacts the overall answer that your team is trying to solve. Number two, how are you going to present these insights? How are you going to effectively communicate this in a cohesive and cogent way that someone else will be able to understand? Even if you only spend two to three minutes thinking about how you're going to structure your presentation, it will always benefit you to have a clear plan for discussing with your manager, supervisor, or client. And lastly, what are the next steps we want to think about? What else could we do to drive this answer forward? And you don't necessarily need to do these, but having a quick list of maybe two to three potential next steps will give you ownership over your work stream and show that you are running your process, which is very important for gaining more responsibility in your job. These are the questions that are going to help you really progress in your career and gain more autonomy and responsibility from your supervisors, not having the world's fanciest formatting. If you'd like to see more examples of how to tactically implement these tips and format a workbook very quickly, please check out the next video in this series linked here. Otherwise, like and subscribe and comment any feedback below. Thank you for watching.